Believe it or not, self-care for a homeschooling mom does not require for you to wake up before dawn. As a strong believer in a mommy morning routine, I was shook to find myself in a season where that is not possible. He can tell you something about that. Today, we are going to discuss the effective self-care hacks that I have personally used in this season, how it is actually possible to have self-care time without waking up early, and how you can find time for self-care as a busy homeschooling mom. Before we jump in, I'd like to discuss what self-care is for me. To me, self-care is not self-indulgent. I am a strong believer in kingdom's work. I take care of myself so that I can mentally, physically, and emotionally be an instrument in the Redeemer's hands. I take care of myself because he first and foremost loved me. I take care of myself because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He has given me children to disciple, a family to serve, and so much more responsibilities. So practically, what does that mean? That means I drink water, I exercise, most importantly, I get in God's word and the list goes on and on. For me, it's whatever is needed in order for me to do kingdom's work. That includes spending time with my husband, fellowshipping with friends, all these different types of things are self-care for me. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that that kind of explains where I'm coming from when it comes to self-care. And I should add the caveat that I do believe that he can work with an empty cup. I think he fills us. But anyways, I digress. So Katherine Johnson was a brilliant mathematician who worked with NASA in the 1960s. And she had like a really important job. And her job was to quickly solve math problems to help astronauts go to space and return home safely. And even though she didn't have a lot of time, Catherine's skills played a huge part in the Apollo 11 mission. If you're curious about the 11 mission, that was when astronauts first walked on the moon. And other things that I take from Catherine's story as a homeschooling mom is that you can do amazing things with a time constraint and that it's super important to utilize the time that you have and the situation that you have. So rather than wishing there were more hours in the day or that you can get up in early to make, 27, to make 24 hours into 27 hours, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta utilize the time that you have. So the three things that I recommend to utilize the time that you have is to number one, instill a quiet time. And this is a specific time throughout the day where the kids are engaging in a quiet activity, whether it is a nap or they're coloring or they're reading a book. This is a time that they have to be quiet. I even at certain points have used like that time like an educational video time. It, it was quiet time. Which brings me to my next thing, which is to utilize educational resources. I know that we talk a lot about not having technology babysit our children, but you can definitely utilize educational resources to give you a moment to deep breathe and eat lunch. <laughs> so like I have my kiddos listen to an audiobook so that I can make myself something to eat, or I will have my younger ones watch number blocks or something like that while I get my devotional in. So just utilizing educational resources wisely and then involving your kids in your self-care time. So I am at a stage in life right now in which I can't get to the gym or I can't wake up early to exercise. And so rather than saying, well, I guess I can't exercise, I will either take my kids on a walk with me and get my exercise in that way or I will utilize YouTube and we'll all do the YouTube video together and exercise together, that kind of stuff. So we're just all exercising, getting healthy and getting fit all together. I have found that exercising with my kiddos, a lot of the times it's way more motivating and challenging than exercising by myself. I, they'd be like, mommy, come on, that's it. That's all you got? Lady said, jump, mommy, jump. I'm like, all right, I'm jumping, jeez. Like they, they're better than paid personal trainers. So let me know in the comments, have you ever tried working out with your little ones and did you have the same experience? But when I am looking for that kind of like time away from the kiddos and my time is limited and I'm not able to wake up early, I have found that utilizing an evening routine to charge up for the next day has been incredibly helpful. So this is amazing for you night owls. 
but just really leaning into that evening routine time. Now, I'm not saying spend two hours scrolling, even though setting a timer and vegging out for like 30 minutes just to like disconnect, I don't think it's so bad, but I would just make sure you set that timer because you might think it's 30 minutes and then you look up and it's like two hours. But anyways, utilizing a timer and vegging for about 30 minutes, washing your face, reading your Bible, reading a book to yourself, spending time with your hubby, all those things are just amazing when it comes to an evening routine, even taking a moment to take out your clothes for tomorrow or get your coffee set up so that all you have to do is hit brew now in the morning. Those different types of things an evening routine has really come through when morning routine is not possible the other type of time that i have found to be incredibly helpful is a weekend routine so whether i have a family member watch a kiddo or a friend watch the kiddos or my hubby watch the kiddos on saturdays i go with katie to a coffee shop and that's when i get like my youtube stuff done just having that time is incredibly helpful so even if you can only get that time in the weekends that's still a way to be able to find some self-care time make sure you're subscribed because that's what i'm about the routines and systems and figuring out how we can balance it all as homeschooling moms. So if that's what you're into, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button on this video. I remember sitting down at marriage counseling with my hubby and my pastor and his wife, and they were like, you guys haven't been on a date in two years. Like, that's not okay. <laughs> And I'm like, how am I supposed to go on a date? I got kids and I stay so far from family. And they're like, that's not an excuse. When all these kids leave, you got to find a way to spend your time with your hubby. Uh, you guys have to grow in your relationship with one another and all the things. And one of the things that my pastor's wife mentioned to us was that when her kiddos were younger, how they would get time together is they would exchange child care and so they had another couple friend and they would exchange they would watch their couple's friend one night a month and then they would go on a date and then the couple would watch their kids one night a week and then that couple would go on a date and so it i hope i said that right <laughs> i feel like i messed that up somewhere but y'all get the point they exchanged child care so that they can get that time away in the same way, you can exchange play dates or babysitting with a friend in order for you to get some self-care time as well. Another thing that I've found that does something like that is community groups. So like co-ops and I know the YMCA usually has like a two hour child care watch thing that they do. And all those things are just little creative ways that you can get some time alone when it's difficult. Now, like I said, I do believe that the ultimate and one of the best ways to get in some self-care time is with a morning routine. That's how you get 27 hours in a 24 hour day. So if the issue is not necessarily that you can't wake up in the morning, but that you keep falling back asleep or you have a difficult time actually getting up for the day, then watch this video right here to find out how to actually wake up.